All right, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making one of the simplest versions of what they call a bench hook. Now what it has is it has a hook on one side and it has another hook on another side. So what you do, you use this for uh, planing, like if you wanna do hand planing on just your standard garage bench. You just hook this end up against here and then whatever board that you're planing down, you push up against there and it gives you a nice solid uh, index to plane on. So if you want to plane like so, it gives you a nice solid place to plane off of. I got a couple little bench hooks. The thing is, this one's fairly short. So for a piece, a smaller piece like this, you know, it works really nice. The problem becomes when you have a little bit larger board and you try to play in here and put a little bit of pressure down, obviously it'll lean down. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit bigger one. We're gonna make a bench hook that's about 18 inches long. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you start out making your bench hook, you wanna start out with a board. Mine's, uh, I'm using plywood, three quarter inch plywood. Mine's 10 inches. You can go anywhere from six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I guess it really doesn't matter. This is what I had laying around scrap. Uh, I got a couple different uh, size bench hooks. This one I'm gonna go about mid-size. We're gonna go roughly 18. Now it really doesn't matter exactly size. You know, it's just kind of what you're comfortable with and what you plan on. Uh, planing with. So I'm going to go with about 18 inches. Again, it's just a rough cut, so. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that same board and you're going to want to cut off about an inch and a half. That way it's the same width as the board that you just cut off. And again, the measurements don't, don't have to be exact. I'm going to go to an inch and a half because I don't like to waste a whole lot of material. But, I mean, you can go an inch, inch and a half, two inches. I guess it really doesn't matter. So we'll do that. That'll be the next, uh, that'll be the next step here. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do with this uh, small piece, you're going to want to put it all the way to the end, flush, flush on all sides. Well, on three sides. And then uh, pre-drill it. I like to pre-drill first because a lot of times if you put glue down first, uh, the board tends to wander around. So I'll just go ahead and put pre-drill a few holes. And then flip it over. My cap busted off the top here. So then what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Uh, oh, it's quite a bit. Wipe off the excess on your pants. Grab a couple screws and in and then what I like to do after that I'll probably put eh, just it might be overkill with the screws and the glue but I'll maybe put like five all the way across I don't know if you exactly have to go that many but that's what I like to do okay now that we got that just wipe the little excess glue off and you're ready for the next step. All right, the next step you do, you're gonna take a piece of hardwood. This one is about a little under a quarter inch. Well, the reason I like to go fairly thin um, and don't just use another piece of plywood on the other side is because a lot of times when I'm planing, I'll plane something uh, thinner than a three quarter inch. So I like to go with something thin 
so my planer doesn't have a chance of running into that. So, I'll take my quarter inch piece. This is just some scrap maple that I got laying around. And I'll just line it up like so. Put a small mark right here. And then I'm going to cut that off so that matches the same dimensions. Same length as that. Same width. I'm going to take a little bit more off. Okay, perfect. Then what you're going to want to do, and you got this on the back side, you flip her over, and again, apply a little bit of glue on the back. Come on. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is throw a few little clamps right on here just while it's drying, like so, and you know, you let her dry. So then the final product that you end up with is a nice bench hook that you can hook right on your bench, and you can start planing boards that are a little bit longer. And like I said, <clears throat> the really nice thing about bench hooks are you can do small ones, you can do long ones, you know, you can do wide, you can do skinny. And you can pretty much bet, uh, you can pretty much plane boards anywhere that you have a bench. And if you're not familiar with Helen Drunk's custom wood designs, you can also go on Facebook.com and search Helen Drunk's custom wood designs. You can see some of the custom signs that we do. We also got custom furniture, we got tables, all different types of stuff. So just don't forget to check us out on Facebook too.